Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It's time for another monthly portfolio update and today I'll be sharing how my portfolio performed in May thus far, the key events that impacted the market and my investment decisions and strategies moving forward. Let's dive right in. To start, let's look at the numbers. At the end of April, my portfolio was valued at only $4,495 and my last update on April 11th, it was $3,753. As of today, my portfolio is valued at 5,286. This growth is huge and exciting, guys, as I'm more than happy to see such positive progress. This growth highlights the power of consistent investing and staying the course even during market fluctuations. With that in mind, let's dive into a detailed breakdown of my current holdings, starting with VU. I hold 3.95 shares at an average cost of $462.88, making up 36.21% of my portfolio. VU represents the S&P 500, as many of you guys already know, I've covered this in multiple videos, but it includes 500 of the largest US companies, and it's just a cornerstone of my portfolio for its broad market exposure and just historical performance, as many of you already know. Next, we have VYM. I hold 12.05 shares at an average cost of $115.44, which constitutes 27.50% of my portfolio currently. And again, if you guys don't know, VYM focuses on high dividend yield stocks, providing a steady income stream and potential for capital appreciation. I have videos going over its performance and metrics if you're interested in learning more. Finally, there's SCHD. I have 22.06 shares at an average cost of $77.49, making up 33.34% of my portfolio currently, just under VU. And as many of you guys already know, SCHD is known for its quality dividend paying stocks which offer both income and growth potential. I have a deep dive analysis on SCHD and VU if you want to understand these ETFs even more. Now let's talk about how these holdings have performed overall so far. VU gained me 4.51%, resulting in an unrealized profit of $82. This gain is very significant and reflects the overall market's resilience and recovery this month so far. Following that, VYM gained 4.47%, adding $62 in unrealized gains to my portfolio. Its steady performance is why I rely on VYM to mitigate risk against the broader market, but most importantly, VYM shows the reliability of dividend-paying stocks even in volatile times. Lastly, SCHD has gained 3.09%, contributing $53 in total unrealized gains. SCHD continues to be one of my favorites and a strong performer in my portfolio, thanks to its mix of high-quality dividend stocks, plus it pays me the most dividends. Overall, my portfolio performance last month was negative 3.66%, but we've seen a very solid recovery in May. I have a total unrealized gains of about $200 as of today, and I haven't received any new dividends this month, but I'm looking forward to the dividend payouts that are coming up in June. With the CPI and the PPI data being released, guys, it has significant implications for the market. Investors are currently weighing the chances of a hard or soft landing for the economy. For me, these conditions typically affect my portfolio only in the short term. My advice is to stay informed, but don't overreact to these short-term fluctuations as time is always your friend. This month so far, I've decided to add more to VU to increase it as my core holding. I'm aiming for growth and income growth. While VYM and SCHD may underperform the S&P 500, they still offer very strong income growth. Together, VU, VYM, and SCHD form a solid combination for growth and income. More importantly, adding more to VU aligns with my strategy of having a strong growth component in my portfolio. VYM and SCHD, on the other hand, provide a steady income stream through dividends, balancing my need for income and growth. By diversifying across these ETFs, I can reduce risk and really enhance my portfolio's stability and performance. My investment strategy remains focused on long-term growth and income. VU is my core holding, ensuring I don't underperform the S&P 500 again. VYM and SCHD complement VU by adding dividend income and reducing volatility. I'm generally optimistic about the next couple of months, especially considering the historical rally in election years due to potential rate cuts. My goal by the end of the year is to make roughly $500 in annual dividend income while maintaining a weekly investment of $200 into VU, VYM, and SCHD. This approach ensures that I continue to grow my portfolio while benefiting from compounding dividends. The performance of my portfolio has been astounding and rewarding as I continue to dollar cost average and increase my dividends. Despite several volatile moments this year, I've stayed the course and ended up gaining more than I initially lost in unrealized losses. This steady approach has proven extremely beneficial, only reinforcing the importance of patient and consistency in investing. Now, a little off topic, but I wanted to speak on the GME and AMC situation. I'd say while some may argue that the market isn't based on fundamentals anymore, I believe that company financials remain crucial and a must for making informed investment decisions. These meme stocks driven by speculation and hype don't align with my investment strategy of focusing on strong fundamentals and long-term growth. With all that aside, I want to hear from you guys. How did your portfolio perform in May so far and what are your thoughts on the recent market events and how have they influenced your investment decisions? Drop a comment below and let's discuss. Anyways guys, thanks for tuning in to the monthly portfolio update. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest content. Your support means a lot to me and helps continue to provide these updates. See you next month and thank you guys for helping me reach 20 subscribers just recently. I have another video coming up next week. It's something that you guys are going to like, I think. But anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh!